What a coincidence. Robin got exactly the same amount of simple interest from investment X and investment Y. And our job is to figure out how much she invested in Y, given that the total was $12,000. I think I'd start with statement two, because it doesn't stand a chance of being sufficient on its own. It just tells us that X was more than 1,000, which I guess means that Y was less than 11,000, but how much less? I don't know. So statement two is not sufficient on its own, and we should eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So B and D are gone, and we're down to A, C, or E. Now, statement one is a lot more interesting. Let's evaluate that right after the intro. So statement one tells us that the interest rate in investment X is exactly half of the interest rate in investment Y. And we know that Robin ended up getting the same actual amount of interest in each investment. So what does that tell me? If the interest rate was half as much in investment X, there must have been twice as much money invested in X so that in the end of the day, the amount of interest would be the same from each investment. So I could set up a ratio table now and say that the amount of money invested in X to Y to total is 2 to 1 to 3, and I know that the total is 12,000. So from my ratio table, I can now see that the investment in Y is one-third of 12,000. So yes, this is sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.